Hi, I'm Keyshan with directcarbon.com and today we're doing a stair runner on these stairs behind me. This is a brand new product from Shaw, a pet perfect product, which means you can't stain it, very easy to clean, amazing for kids and pets. This style of carpet is called Tranquil Spirit and the color is Snowfall. So stick around, we're gonna do our straight runner stair install. We've got a right turn landing and then we've got eight stairs going up. We're gonna do the top riser. We're gonna show you how to install it. We're gonna show you how beautiful it is. If you're looking for this stair runner, it will be up on the website. Watch till the end of the video to find out all the tips, tricks, and techniques I use. There'll be a link in the description down below for all the tools that I use. Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our under pad. We've got four stairs here. The stair runner at the bottom is going to be 30 inches wide, and the stair runner at the top will be 28 inches wide. So, for the bottom four at 30 inches wide, we are going to use 28 inch under pad because we want an inch on each side so that the carpet comes down smoothly and you can't see the under pad. Okay, so we wanna center our under pad. Center it from the left side, rod iron. We've got six and a half there. We've got six and a quarter there. We've got six and a quarter there. So yeah, we're about six and a quarter. Now we're just gonna tack this in very lightly on the front with our pad stapler. You can use an electric gun stapler with this. We're gonna do six and a quarter here, and we're gonna do this all the way. Now, if you don't wanna put staples into the wood, or as many staples into the wood, you can always put a piece of tuck tape along the front here, which will hold in place. Can, later can be removed with a cleaner. Okay. Let's roll our pet perfect stair runner out. And we always wanna make sure that the pile is facing down. We're gonna roll this out. Remember this is 30 inches. Needs to come up and meet the landing. Now when we center, when we centered our pad, that kind of helps us with centering our carpet, our stair runner, because we use our finger where the line is and we put it under, and that's about an inch. Right, we do the same thing on the other side. If we start our stair runner out centered and keep it going centered all the way up, we're gonna be in really good shape. So there it is. Now we're gonna double check with the tape measure. We should be about five and a quarter, and five and an eighth, uh, five and an eighth. So that means with the binding there, that we are going to be five and an eighth all the way up this side, and we'll be five and an eighth all the way up this side. Now I know I said it five and a quarter, but the binding sometimes adds uh, a little bit extra. So that's fine. No one's gonna be able to tell eighth of an inch. So what we do is five and an eighth, check it again. Five and an eighth, all good in the hood. Now that we're centered, we're gonna grab our electric stable gun. This is a dual fast electric stable gun. You can use a Roberts. It takes 9 16 crown staples. Uh, there's a link in the description below. You can get it on Amazon or you can rent this. This is the kind of gun I suggest you use. It's very powerful. So we're centered, pull it down, line the binding, the finished edge up on the bottom. Very nice. Okay, ready, wiggle, secure. So now that is secured with one staple. We're gonna double check our measurement. All right, so let's finish this off at the bottom. Pop a staple every two to three inches on the bottom. If you need more, use more. If you need less, use less. Now we are not water falling this today, we are falling the contour. So what I like to do is, I like to preform this with my hands because we have to get it under that 90, right? So we wanna preform it a little bit. Now we already know that we're lined up. Let's get under there. Put a staple every two inches, double them up if you want. I like to double them up at the end. Feel along to see if anything popped out. Nope, that feels good. It looks nice. What we have here 
This is called a kicker. We're going to use this to put pressure on. It's got teeth on the bottom. We're going to use this to put some pressure on our knee and just push this into place. See how we do it on our thigh or on our knee? The teeth just hold it in there, right? Right, put that on and then we just push and you can see over on the side here, look at how much that moves. And what that does is it keeps it nice and tight. Okay, now I wanna make sure that we're staying centered all the way up. So we're five and a quarter, or five and an eighth. I wanna check here, pretty good, five and an eighth. Pretty good there, five and an eighth. You want a professional looking steer runner, you wanna make sure it's straight and that's half the bottle. Okay, so we're good to go. What we're gonna do is put some tension on. Until we feel she's nice and tight. One, two, three. We're gonna put three staples in. That one needed four between the binding and the carpet. What that'll do is that'll really help get rid of the marks. If you split it between the binding and the carpet, you won't really see the staple marks. We're gonna come over to this side. We're gonna do the same thing. Okay, tension. As you can see, I've angled this out and in, right? Because I want to, I don't want any bubbles here. I wanna make sure I know I'm already straight. So I'm just gonna put a little tension there. Tension, one, two, three. Rub out those marks. Looking good. Now we're gonna take this thing called a stair tool, carpet tucker. It's got an edge on it, but not a sharp edge. It's a rounded edge so that we can make a nice line all the way along here. I mean, that's part of making this thing look really good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our carpet tucker, we're gonna score on the 45 till we get a nice straight line. We're gonna take our kicker, put some tension on it, and we're gonna staple every inch on the 45 degree, 45 degree angle all the way along. Run our hand in there. Feel for anything popping out, no stables popping out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our stair tool and our trusty hammer and we're gonna all the way in. Nice. Moving on up. Second verse, same as the first. Okay. We're gonna check our measurements just to make sure. Five and an eighth, we're good. I don't even have to check the other side. We're gonna preform this a little bit. Like we did before, we're gonna do this on every stair. We're gonna make sure we got staples in the gun, up underneath. Putting two on the end. One staple every inch. It's looking good. Take our hammer and our tucker. On the 45. All right, let's check our measurements. We're gonna do this for every stair. Five and an eighth, perfection. Grab our kicker and our stable gun. Nine sixteenths crown. Put a little tension with our kicker. Make sure she's tight, right? Knee, tight, tension, measure. One, two, three. Rub those staple marks out. Do the same thing on the other side. Tension. One, two, three. Rub those staple marks out. Now we'll take our tucker and we will score that on the 45 to get that beautiful looking 90 degree angle. Very nice. Tension. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, looking good. All right, moving on. 
Preform a little bit. Staple up on the 45 degree angle, feel underneath. I don't feel anything, feels good. Safe, you don't want any staples popping out in case the kids are playing on the stairs. We got tension on in the middle. Now we're just gonna check our measurements. What I noticed is we're a little off on this side, so we have to straighten that out. So we check it out, measure. We're at five and a sixteenth. So we're just gonna angle this way a little bit because we wanna get it back on track because course correction is part of the game. That's why we check the measurements all the time. One, two, three. Make sure, check the measurement. Looking good. Now we'll secure this side. Little tension. Split the pile. One, two, and three. All right. Take our carpet tool and get a nice groove on there. Back and forth, back and forth until you get it in the groove. All right. Make sure we got staples, we're good. Tension. Tension. Very nice. Okay. Oh, that's looking nice. All right. Now we're gonna do the last and final stair for this first part of a three-part series. Nothing's gonna change here. Nothing will change till we get to where we gotta get to with the landing. Okay, that feels good. We're gonna put some tension on. Now here's a little secret here. I'm gonna find my knife with a good blade. I'm just gonna cut this excess off. Okay, get rid of that. Now what I'd like to show you is there's a certain method that I use is we have to staple into this wood here, but then we have to cut on that 45. If we pop staples into that angle, we're going to not be able to cut our carpet because every time we cut our carpet, we're gonna hit our blade, dull our blade, and then it's just gonna be a mess. So this is a little trick that I like to do. Now let's check and make sure we're centered, put some tension. We're good on our measurement. Let's get some tension going on. One, two, and three. Rub those out. A Little bit of tension here. One, two, three. Rub those out. Now, we're gonna do the same method, but our stapling method is gonna change. Now we wanna score this really well. Pay attention here. This is a super great little trick that I learned over time out of necessity. Okay, we got our groove. Now, instead of stapling on the angle here, we're gonna put our gun all the way up straight and we're gonna staple down. And we're only gonna use maybe five staples. So let's put some tension on, okay? Straight up and down. Tension, straight up and down. Tension, straight up and down. Tension, straight up and down. Okay, that was five staples. Now what we'll do is we're gonna bang that in nice and tight. Okay, now with a good blade. Now this is a Roberts knife, it's in the description down below. You can use any X-Acto knife as long as you're using a brand new blade. Okay, now one thing you gotta watch out for is you're gonna insert your knife on an angle here. You don't wanna cut the wood here and you don't wanna cut here, so be very, very precise. Now, instead of cutting down on this angle, we're gonna kinda of cut flat. And what that'll do is that'll eliminate any gap. Now watch. And we wanna to try to avoid hitting any of the staples. Okay? Okay? Look at that, pretty good, pretty good. Right? Pretty good, pretty good. Now we wanna come at it from the other end into the middle. 
We didn't hit one staple. That came out really clean. And what I want you to do is I want you to wipe all the fluff out of there. And then what I want you to do is I want you to take your kicker and I want you to secure that. Now that's secure. If you want to bang the pins down or the staples, you can do that. And now that's ready. And now that's ready for the landing. Okay, so that was part one. We did the four stairs at 30 inches wide. We were five and an eighth on one side and five and an eighth on the other so that we're centered all the way up. We're gonna, uh, we scored the carpet. We preformed under the nose to make it easy. We put tension on it so it's nice and tight and so people don't slip on loose stairs. And we have cut our piece off where our matching landing is gonna go. And we're gonna show you that on uh, step two. So stick, stick around, stick around, around. And I'm Keisha Ann with Direct Carpet. Keep watching for part two.